Well, the Gnome of War really brought us to victory here, thanks to Gascon's unbelievable amount of help. Oh my god, Gascon combined with an absolute army of Slingers is the coolest thing in the world. I didn't even use Renard to boost him there. If I did, everyone would be very, 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 very dead. If only that fucking Sigmund didn't show up, I could have had him. But there we go. Yet another victory. Give me everything you got. Which just so happens to be pretty much nothing. Because the Nilfgaardians suck all the ass in the world at this point. Why are you so useless? Jesus, like they just left back a skeleton crew. Then again, I mean, we've always been butchering them. Just never on this extreme level before not quite this much give me that lovely amount of god look at the look at everything we got for the war effort here unstoppable i thought maybe there'd be a map in there it's because very rarely there sometimes is and if there was gonna be some i wanted it but oh well oh well right i know there's uh, a map that leads us to like a watchtower around here i say around here i don't know where it is but it seems to be a lone tower it doesn't really seem like there are any lone towers around other than these windmills. Unless they've been converted. Uh, I don't know. I am whipping and I ain't going to stand for that. If I find wherever it's coming from, maybe it's just a horny couple's bedroom. Who knows? Let's find out. Oh, no. No, that's some uh, that's some peasant. Unless he's into it. Who knows? Of Ravencluft, a quarry meave passed by. A quarry don't kink a shame the Nilf Guardians. For years earlier, its wall had collapsed, burying dozens alive. Scholars summoned from Oxenfurt were unanimous in their findings. The rock was fragile, further digging would likely cause slides. Meave had heeded the scholars' advice and closed the quarry by royal decree. Yet uh -oh. now, as she neared it, Meave could hear the even tap of pickaxes. She dispatched scouts to investigate. They returned promptly, their faces sullen. Their cloaks blanched with a fine limestone dust. Quarries open and you, your grace. Nilf guardians. They've got folk in the pit working it. They appear to be from the surrounding villages. Interesting. Their engineers have found a way to render it safe. Secure the walls. I'd say that's right unlikely, Majesty. Judging by the fresh graves we saw. The Queen I mean, that was to sort of to be assumed, ever, wasn't it? Side. Reynard, what do you advise? As a soldier, my queen, I'd advise against any kind of assault. The terrain's hard, unsuitable for a fight, and we've little to gain from a victory. As a man, however... Yes? ...to leave our folk in chains, in that death trap. It wouldn't be right. Which is why we fight. Attempt to let... It says attempt, which worries me, but oh well, we're doing it. ...gains and losses. ...began Meave. I'd bend the knee to the Imperials, just as Villain did. But bloody arithmetic won't dictate my course. For I do what's just. I do what's right. Exactly. Follow me! Her and it's gotten us this far! Hesitation. Swords Doubt we're gonna falter in a random mine shaft. Let's do this! I love being able to just mop up Rivia. Clear out the Nilfgaardians. It feels so good! The battle at Ravencluft. Meavens expected an easy victory. From our scout's report, she learned the uh, the Lyrians held a considerable numerical advantage over the invading forces. Are you kidding me? Yet the Queen had not foreseen one critical Nilfgaardian strategy. The use of chained captives to fight opposite their own countrymen. Eliminate all slave drivers, and how the hell might I do that one? It's special rules, but it's my deck, right? We're gonna have to- oh, fucking Garbor, he's gonna help. Get rid of you. Definitely use Arnjolf. Then again, people are gonna die. It won't happen so quick. Um. Oh, I don't fucking need the manlet. And I don't need the crushing trap either. Pitfall trap, however, I do need. Forcing my own subjects to fight us. Slave hunter. Move the lowest enemy, un enemy next to this unit and lock it. I don't like that. We gotta take you out immediately. I... Let's go to my gay so boys. Didn't this really want to do, but that's fine, I guess. Ooh, but I did want you! In fact, reshuffle. I'm gonna bring out both my bombers. I don't care, we're gonna rush this fight. Because I want these slave drivers going down immediately. We don't stand for this shit. Bomber. Bomber. Perfect. Right, two of you. Right there. Oh, for God. Already my arbalists are making their moves. This slave hunter is gonna die immediately. Jack. There is no point in these idiots even trying. Aaron, you'll get in there. Do some damage before you don't even get a chance to anymore. In fact, that's all we can do this turn. Uh, I should have played the Pitfall Trap. 
But I mean, Aronyov's not going to be able to do any damage if we uh, kill everyone all this quickly. I don't see any slaves, though. What's going on? They're only fighting with their slave drivers. Damage an ally by form, boost all others by one. Well, that's one down. Pitfall at the back, I guess. We'll do more damage. Well, oh my god, we nearly already finished him. This is insane. I can just beat up the rest with, um... With Big Boy Garbor. I think he's ready. It doesn't even matter about these dudes. The slave drivers are dead. We've, we've got that easy fight. I know. Are you saying that these idiots are laborers? Why are they... Okay, they seem pretty willing to shoot me in the face. This dude dies. And lastly... Garbor, move on in, would ya? Already dead. One left took. Two left took. Got tons of left in the tank. Easiest victory we've ever had. Oh, the pickaxe! I thought that was in a dude's back, but it's just a flag, okay. Those who survived now found themselves shackled in the very chains they'd forced the peasants to wear. Peasants. Unfortunate souls. The cruel labor in the quarry had taken its toll. They stood before the queen, shrunken to skin and bone, clothed in tattered rags, their eyes reddened I couldn't by have dust, left them here. But in those eyes burned a brilliant fire. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Muzzle. Great. Terrifying, the okay. The treated us like dogs. Stripped us of dignity. So we beg you, give us arms. Let us march neath your banner. Is a chance Amazing. Of we seek, we want. Oh, they hell yeah. Towards me, even spoke in a scarcely audible whisper. Majesty, they've knelt. Not boots, not even foot wraps. To equip the lot, train them, would cost a small fortune. A fortune which we absolutely have. They've knelt to their names, said the queen. Have few skills to offer and little strength. But to look in their eyes is to know they'll never flee. Never throw down their arms. Such recruits are worth coin in any amount. Emaciated, oh, downtrodden, yes. the peasants met the Queen's offer with gratitude. They relished the thought of facing their tormentors in a fight. I love it. Let's do it! Uh, I was hoping it would give us a new unit type, but I mean it gave us muzzle. And I want to see what muzzle is, even if we never use it. As I'd kind of feel wrong using it if it's anything like it sounds. I'm not abusing my dudes. That's black blood. We know what that does. Where's Muzzle? Is it alphabetical? No. Where is it? Ah! Seize an enemy, a bronze enemy unit. Well, that's fucking easy. No, let's not do that. Um. Ah, that's boring. I like the ones we got. We got some really, really good ones right now. So I'm gonna grab you. Can I talk to any of the peasants we freed? Man, I really like the look of this place. Also, we just made back the money we spent, basically, or at least half of it. And, like, picking up one, um... We, we've made it back! It was that easy! Renard, you're a goddamn idiot! I don't care. Alright, let's see what we've got over here, shall we? What? I love the water. I don't understand how the water can look so good in a game that's art style is like that. I mean, it kind of looks... It's just beautiful. Everything about this is beautiful. Let's continue on through Willowhane. He Willow now reached Willowhane, a settlement she knew well. For it lay near Waldenrad, where in peacetime she would go to escape her queenly duties and enjoy the thrill Aww. of the hunt. Pheasant, grouse, and partridge in abundance. You will see, said Meave in muted excitement, pivoting in her saddle to face uh -huh. Gascon. So sweet. No, that she's so in love with Gascon. God Alas, damn. It appeared the war had ravaged even these woods. Where life had no! stirred and grown tall before, only resinous trunks remained. And the village itself had lost its quaint allure, surrounded now by a double stockade. A golden sun fluttering above it. Bastards couldn't even let the damn trees be. Gascon seethed. A dismal scene. Her once cherished wood, and it weighed heavily on the Queen's spirits. Walden Rad See how quickly that music removed, changed? <laughs> she could rest and forget the weight of her crown. 
Reynard's voice roused me from her sad reverie. An Elfgardian garrison holds the village, he said. We ought to drive them out. Avoid any surprise later from the rear. <laughs> Anal. Give yes, order we're ordering attack, the attack. But none is to play the hero. We shall breach or topple the stockade together. Senseless to perish so close to home. Reynard nodded. Moments later, the Lyrians Why are you being so, like, wary about this one? You weren't for all the others. <laughs> okay, that was sudden. Let's do this. Sean Battle, uh, the Battle of Willowayne. Meet recalled her first hunt in Waldenrad nearly 20 years ago. She was young, naive, and newly married to Reginald. I assume that means she's probably about 15, 14, judging by medieval times and bad practices with the young people. But yes, uh, now the forest has been, had been raised, Reginald was dead, and Meeve shared little in common with the starry-eyed girl who first arrived at the Lurian court. I mean, she's still full of motivation and wonder and dream. She's a dreamer. How else would she think she was in any way capable of retaking her crown? And guess what? She got it. Because you can't achieve your dreams, boys and girls. I don't know why I gave it that voice. That was terrifying. Um... Oh, should I do the Gascon tactic again? I don't need to. It's a one-turn thing. Oh, which kind of makes me even want to do it even more. But no, he's gone now. I wasted my chance. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I traded Gascon for crushing trap. I need to take that out of my deck. It's awful. Man, okay. Instant endless power from the Nilf Guardians there. Don't like that one. Tons of slingers. Okay, sure. I mean, even if Gascon does arrive, he's going to be relatively powerful. What do you do? You do stuff. Uh, that's fine. Oh, we've even got Isbel. I didn't notice. Fantastic. Just keep beating those three up. Why not? Let's lower them as much as we can. Aratusa adept. As you wish, lady. I believe this time around, as much as I enjoyed the slinger thing, we want some cavalry. Also, I'm going to move that so if we get Gascon, he's powerful. I'm also going to trade in, now that we've used a slinger, trade him in for a bomber. And maybe Gascon. Because Gascon is really powerful already. God damn, he's so good. I right, one bomber here. Uh, I'm going to throw it onto the back because they have just more health and I don't approve. Gascon up front, please. Get dull. He's just Ooh, overpowered, isn't he? I love the way he's so much better now he's been plussed. Uh oh, leave my bomber alone. What the fuck are you doing? How dare you? Oh, and it's Alba. I couldn't hate you more. Guess I might as well throw down my cavalry. I'd like another. Yeah, we'll bring down the Alba. I'd like another, um. Aratuza Adex. So we just have billions and billions and billions of these, but I couldn't I couldn't resist bringing Gascon out. He's just too good. He's too good. And he's my favorite he's my favorite character in the game, I think. Maybe other than Meeve. I like Renard. A lot of the others are sort of characters that just become irrelevant, which is a shame. Garbor has a couple of moments now, but <laughs> not so much. And it's strange because it's not like it's the characters that are with you always that get that get more airtime because every one of every companion can go, from what I can tell. You don't need to pick up half of them. And hell, you can get rid of Renard and Gascon, who I believe are the only Alba! mandatory ones you can have up until Rivia. You can get rid of them when they betray you, you know? Which is insane. You can genuinely just lose everyone. So I don't understand why everyone just sort of got less air time. I say air time, you know what I mean. Got less time to shine. When they really deserve more time to shine. I love every Renard! character in this game. They're so cool. There hasn't been a bad character. I guess the gnome annoys me a little bit, but he's meant to. He's a gnome. I really wish I put the flame nice there choice. now. Well, I guess they're only throwing so many there because it's the one place that wouldn't get their asses scorched. Ow! Jesus, you're already doing a lot of damage. Let me hit up that Lyrian horn. Oh, <laughs> what was that? Whatever it was, it made Isbel angry. And I like Isbel when she's angry. So let's go ahead and boost us so we don't lose any of our... Uh, any of our cavalry, because that would be really, 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 really bad. And I kind of want to just waste my crushing trap. I guess I'll bring down that guy. That'd be kind of fun. Fuck it, let's do that. Jesus, 30 health? What did you do? I guess we healed him by shitloads. And you've got a lot of um, attack for some reason. Don't know where all that's coming from. Yeah, let's crush this dude then. 
Not too bad. Makes the uh, makes the arbalist just all that much better. But I mean, it's I don't want him hurting all of my crew again, especially not my cavalry. There's just not quite enough cavalry to make the strat worth it here. I should have got that other Aratusa girl. We'd have an additional like four damage each time, and we need it. Not that this amount of damage isn't enough, but that the Nilf Guardians are holding their own for once, which is rare these days. Uh, let's get, over, get, let's get rid of our cavalry boy. Probably should have got rid of you, really, Mr. Slinger. Um, as much as I would like another Aratus or Adept, it's a little late for that. I think I want Garbor and another bomber, to be honest. Because right. I really That's could do with setting this area on fire. Right, take out Alba immediately, because I can't fucking stand them. Uh, and if I ever have to hear anyone scream Alba again, I will. I will scream myself. There we go. Please go away. Stop doing damage, this you rude hurt. prick. There we go. Everyone burns, please. Can I throw that on my... It has to be an enemy row. Okay, I was wondering if I could set fire to my own guys just to make Isbel so overpowered. I mean, it's wrong as hell, but it'd be interesting. When now I actually will play Isbel. Please, oh god, don't die before I get a chance to use you. Because you really don't have that much health this time around, huh? And they have a lot of arbalists. Hey, Hello? Oh, I really hope you don't have that many. I knew they'd all go for a... Please, yeah, what are you doing? Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> she survived by one point. My god. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use the Malo. So she 100% survives. And then we can use it again as soon as our blacksmith arrives. Hmm. I just wish I could decoy my adept. I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're only immune to prevent that from happening, but it's just so annoying that you can't do that. I'd love if you could. Oh, beautiful amounts of down. I just love watching chaos in the ranks. It feels so good. Hey, hey, like, we throw you here, perfect, we use the Malo- Oh, you know what? Fuck it, we use the Lyrian Horn. I don't even know what would have boosted us most, but I mean, it can't be a bad thing, right? Ow. Time for how much damage? 114. Thanos snap. Actually, not yet. I am my turn. I'll do that next time. I want to be able to absolutely brutalize you all. And I assume that's a unit, right? Hello, Nilfgaard. I know you're dead. Just accept your fate. You'll feel a lot better about it. Good for you. Bye-bye. I said bye-bye. Hurry the fuck up. Oh, I've got even less to kill now. It's a disappointment. I didn't even get to see the nuke. Ah, uh, I guess... <laughs> fuck it. Decoy. Bomber, why not? Gotta finish the turn somehow. Bye bye. Throw him down again, just because it's kind of stupid. And reset fire to that. Everything is done. Beautiful. I love you, Meeve. You're the coolest. When the battle dust had settled, Meeve instructed her soldiers to gather Willowhane's inhabitants. She earns her badassery so well. Armed liberators. The common folk cowered in terror. No she longer isn't like a Mary fear. Sue, which the is just the shouting. most annoying no thing. No longer must you worry about homes and loved ones. The war's nearly done. As in Mary Sue's are annoying, not her not being one. If she was, that on would a sign, suck. A villager dropped to his knees and raised his hands to the heavens in supplication. Trucker! No. Me broke off oddly, what? baffled by the man's outburst. And then it dawned on her. The Rivians of Willowhane had been driven away. Taking their place, no! Nilfgaardian settlers brought in to transform the near subsistence plots of local peasants into great estates producing for the Empire. Well, obviously, I don't know what the hell is being... I don't know what this is. I don't know what you said. The essence of the Nilfgaardian peasants oh, yeah, you, could, you speak they it, don't you? Stay. They've come to love the land. They pledged to renounce their emperor. Swear allegiance to you as their rightful ruler. They... Meave had stopped listening. She turned to survey the hamlet. The walls of the huts, freshly whitewashed. Tools neatly arranged. Flower beds well tended. A young girl of six or seven summers peered out from her hiding place in a sunflower patch. Oh, Your Majesty, no, don't make me Raynard, feel bad. I was going to kick him out. Because it's orders? only fair that, you know, we the do? old Rivians get back, but they could be dead. I can't drive out a child.
But at the same time, this is Rivian. You drove... They didn't personally, but Nilfgaard drove out... The old inhabitants, if only I knew whether they were alive or not. If they were dead, you can stay. If they weren't... Uh, why is that? Maybe if I let them stay, the other Rivians will also they come stay back. stay on two conditions. Tell them. For 15 years, they'll pay double the tax. And if any of the previous <laughs> inhabitants return, nice. they're to be given their huts, lands, and any crops produced in their absence without Good, delay. Good, that's what the I wanted. The Guardian settlers accepted the terms with relief. Meave soldiers with markedly less enthusiasm. As the force left Willowhane, the troops made a show of knocking aside any food or drink the peasants offered. Fair enough. Well, guys, unfortunately, I really thought I was going to be able to finish the game in this session. That's all I've got time for today. I've had a really busy day. I couldn't start until late, which is a real shame. But tomorrow is a different story. We will be right back. It'll only be like a few hours for you. I'm going to be fucking waiting, bated breath, wanting to fucking know what the hell happens. But for now, that's where I'm going to have to leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next one, we will retake Rivia Castle. Please do like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that amazing stuff. It really does help out both me and the channel. And I will see you in the next one. But for now, this is Strike signing off. Goodbye.